Welcome to Science Era. In this video, we're going to discuss systems of measuring. Experiment 1 from Module CHE 1503. So the purpose of this experiment is to understand the standard laboratory de devices to measure volume and mass amounts. We're going to determine the density of water, determine the density of solid and use this to determine the further quantities. And then lastly, to determine the density of aluminium and use that value to determine the thickness of a piece of aluminium foil. Let's begin with reagent and apparatus. What reagent and apparatus we are going to use? The first one is electronic balance. 250 ml Erlenmeyer flask, 100 ml beaker, 400 ml beaker, burette, graduated cylinder, one is for 10 ml, one is for 100 ml, 100 ml beaker, spatula, wooden blocks, aluminium pieces, aluminium foil and distilled water and lastly sugar. Beginning with part A. In part A, we're going to measure the mass of solid. So they ask you to obtain a 250 ml Erlenmeyer flask from your locker. Use this electronic balance in weighing room to determine the mass of Erlenmeyer flask. Then record your measured masses on the lab report. So this is what a Erlenmeyer 250 ml flask looked like. You're going to put it on your weighing balance and you're going to measure its mass and record it into the lab report sheet. Secondly, we're going to weigh by difference. First, obtain a 100 ml beaker from your locker. Use the electronic balance in weighing room to determine the mass of this beaker. Add two spoons of sugar to this beaker using spatula. So this is a 100 ml beaker. You're going to measure its mass, record it, and then put um, two spoons of sugar using the spatula. Then determine the new combined mass of both, weigh them again with beaker and sugar. Be sure to use the same electronic balance as before. When finished, dispose the used sugar in the sink. Let's see. This is what a lab report look like. So table one is for the mass of Erlenmeyer flask where you measure the mass and record it in the areas um, given as mass measurement and then they ask for the significant figures. Significant figures to determine significant uh, figures there are some rules to follow. Rule number one, all non-zero digits and any zero contained between non-zero uh, non digits counts as the significant digits. So 3,042, there are six significant figures. Leading zeros don't count in the significant figure. Trailing zeros count if there is a decimal point. Trailing zero may or may not count if there is no decimal point. So we go with most conservative answer next is the weighing by difference so we measure the um, weight of ma uh, empty mass of empty beaker and then mass of beaker plus sugar and record it and then we determine the significant figure they ask you to calculate the mass of weighed sugar what we're going to do is we're going to sub um, subtract mass of beaker plus sugar from the mass of empty beaker, beaker and then it will give you the mass of weight sugar. They sometimes also ask you to convert the given mass or, or the obtained mass from grams to kilograms. To go from grams to kilograms you always divide by thousand and they sometimes ask you to go from kg to LBs, LBS. For that, you're going to divide it by 453.6. Next is part B, volumes of liquid and solids. Starting with volumes of liquid, you will receive a burette filled with water. For 10 ml graduated cylinder, you're going to take 8 ml of water. For 100 ml graduated cylinder, you're going to take 30 ml of water. And for 100 ml beaker, you're going to take 
20 ml of water each filled with certain quantity of water which is given here as 8 ml 30 ml and 20 ml measure the volume of water in each remember to read the volume at the bottom of the meniscus it is useful to hold a piece of white paper behind the buret cylinder beaker to make it clearer when recording a reading then part b also include the volume of solids here we have a wooden block measure the dimensions of block if it is a cube or a rectangular box measure its length width and height if it is a cylinder or a cone measure its height and diameter or its circular base then to find the volume of it you're going to times it by length time width time height which will give you the volume the lab report should look like this where they ask you in table 3 the volume of liquid water they gave you um, four types of devices which include burette beaker 100 ml graduated cylinder and 10 ml graduated cylinder the first thing they will ask you is for precision you should know what a precision is precision is measure of how much detailed information is given it is the degree to which exactness is applied it is me um, precision in measurement is how exactly the measurement was taken for example smaller the unit use the more exact the result will be precision in number is the total number of significant or decimals or other digits so first they will ask you for the precision of each measuring device used and then the volume measured from the measuring device and the number of significant figure it contains then in table 4 they will ask you to um, calculate the volume of regular solid shaped um, in our case we took wooden block where we took the dimensions um, such as width length and height and we recorded it and then they asked for the number of significant figure in here you're going to record the number of significant figure present in your measurement for example if you have width of 43.6 then there are three significant figures in your answer next is density of water using the electronic balance in weighing room determine the mass of clean dry 100 ml graduated cylinder pour 40 to 50 ml of distilled water graduated um, into the graduated cylinder and weigh make sure the outside of graduated cylinder is dry before placing it into an electronic balance you should remember this um sorry this in the upcoming slide so we said that we took 40 to 50 ml in you can say in this case we took 40 ml of distilled water into the graduated cylinder then we're going to measure the liquid volume in the cylinder and use the mass and volume to calculate the density of water your lab report should look like this where they give you the table to record masses mass of empty dry graduated cylinder then mass of graduated cylinder plus water and then you're going to find out the mass of distilled water like we did before to find the mass of distilled water you're going to subtract mass of empty uh, mass of graduated cylinder plus water from the mass of dry graduated cylinder to find the mass of distilled water then they ask you to calculate the density of water in grams per milliliter and they ask you to show your calculation so to calculate density we always know that density is equal to mass over volume for example if you calculated the mass of empty graduated cylinder to be 80.001 and mass of graduated cylinder and water to be 100.256 then you're going to subtract this 100.256 uh, minus 80.001 and you will get the mass of distilled water to be 20.255 then
this is just an example and then using the formula density equal mass over volume you're going to divide mass which is um, 20.255 in grams and then from the volume remember pour 40 to 50 ml of distilled water into the graduated cylinder and weigh was our instruction so the volume in this case is 40 ml this brings us to the end of experiment one which is systems of measuring thank you for watching if you like my video don't forget to subscribe for more